Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about motivation. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, how do software engineers overcome the loss of motivation? Well, uh, I suppose everybody does it in their own way. Uh, usually at least the ones that I know, they have different methods for doing so. Uh, I'll give you sort of a broad picture and perhaps this will become a sort of a connection point and make you sort of understand why I've in many videos before sort of promoted the idea that it's important for you to make an upfront investment in your long-term career as a software developer by getting proper co-workers, a stable work environment and get the foundation skills within usually the first five years, so I argue are the most important ones when you start out. And this ties into this actually. You see, uh, as I've said before, and as you probably understand yourself, you're not always going to feel at the top of your game. You're not always going to be in a position where you feel as if, as if this thing, now I'm not necessarily saying that you love programming, but let's say for the sake of argument that you do, you're not always gonna feel that way. Uh, because anything you do, regardless of what it is, will lose its novelty sooner or later. And as any good relationship therapist will tell you, by the time the novelty and so forth has sort of subsided, the, what, is, what remains is the thing that will work long term or will not work long term. And so if your entire relationship was built basically on like the, a strong attraction or something like that, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to sustain that over time because something else has to take its place when the novelty wears off. It's the same thing with your profession. It's the same thing with software development and so forth. Some people may never lose their motivation fully, but when you do, it's imperative for you to be in a state where you have something to show for it, if that makes sense. Because uh, unfortunately, like a very unfortunate situation is if you get to that point and coding and programming and so forth is just a job to you, but you haven't really acquire the necessary skills to make it within the industry because then you're not going to be able to do the thing that most of the software developers do when they lose motivation and that is that they just do this as a job that's it it's that simple they get up go to work and do something for money not necessarily something that they want to do not something that they might feel is the funnest thing in the world, but they will get paid to do so, and usually fairly well. And so, if you have the skills to do this, then you at least have the choice, and what's very, yeah, what is it they say, uh, happiness does not, uh, money doesn't bring happiness. This is true, but money gives you the options to explore things, to figure out things it because when you're in if you don't have food for the day or things like that nothing is more important than your survival and so when you get to that point where you have financial security those options and that that search for what fulfills you become well it becomes possible and so a lot of the software developers that I know who have reached this point what they usually do is that they find a different role and they might leave a company and go on and like work with a startup or uh, start studying something different or maybe they don't even feel like the programming thing is the most important thing as i said then they basically just treat this thing as because that is what it is it is just a job the reason why you might feel that it's that it's something more than that is because it's a uh, it's one of those professions where there is a lot of emphasis on being the best of the best or being exceptional at uh, at this thing. There's not a lot of professions that I know of that have that sort of mentality where like you, where you so rigorously test people on their knowledge and skill uh, within the craft. I mean, 
it's th this this is in a sense a little bit unique. Uh, I'm not saying always, but it is a little bit unique and niched to this profession. There are others, I'm sure, that have the same sort of screening process and so forth. But you you are constantly bombarded with this idea that you have to be the best of the best. But the reality is, guys, that the vast majority of software developers are not the best of the best. They're far from it. I worked with tons of different uh, like software developers guys and the guys who can just do the job they will also get work just as well as the guys and girls and like everybody who is like the best of the best the, the there is no like the demand is so gigantic that anybody who can just produce a decent result has a shot the thing that is necessary for getting that shot on the other hand that's the thing as I've said before that's the first five years of investment because you need to get something on your CV you need to get some foundations in place and hopefully as I've said that tip is going to work out really well for you uh, where if you make if you can sort of buckle down for the first bit of it and then you lose your motivation well then at the very least you will have employment options and now you can as I said do these sorts of things that I that, that I mentioned so, uh, it, and I mean if I talk uh, speak for myself I've done the same sort of thing guys I mean I uh, love software development I think it's super super fun and super cool but it, it's not like I spend the same amount of hours that I did when I was first starting out I mean when I first started coding guys then it was literally eight hours of studying every single day for quite some time and I spent like, just enormous 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 amounts of time on this thing and now I don't spend that amount of time I spend maybe like, uh, like a fraction of that time doing the same sort of things but I've also acquired the necessary skills to do the job fairly well, fairly well, decently at the very least. So I don't have to be scared. Like that, in that mo that motivation that I had to do, like that excess work, is it's not there anymore. But on the other hand, it's not necessary either. So now I can go and explore other things. So I do, for example, I think that AI and machine learning is pretty interesting. So I go and learn about that. I think ops and DevOps and things like that is also kind of interesting. So I go and learn about that, etc. Cetera, et cetera. That that the the urge to to like to overwork myself to basically to the breaking point that I had in the beginning of things like that super super high motivation to just learn everything about programming. It's not there, but something else has taken its place. Uh, I hope that that makes some sort of sense to you. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, usually the way that software developers overcome loss of motivation and things like that has, it's very similar, I would say, I, well, I suspect that it's similar to pretty much anybody who loses their motivation. They start to try to find other ways of fulfillment and it ties into this thing that I've said before guys nothing is fun forever there's nothing you're, n you're never like you're always going to love doing I mean short of breathing maybe but the sooner or later the novelty wears off and you want to do something different and that's why I tell people it's very important that you understand that the earlier that you I mean it's easy to say it's harder to do but the earlier you can understand that if you can get established and you get yourself up to a good level of proficiency in whatever you do then you have the options that's sort of the whole like that's that's the open market that's the economy that's like all of this everything that we have it comes down to the fact that you have the funds and the resources and the like the 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 opportunities necessary to go and do that exploring that's the thing that usually the software developers do because they work learn all this stuff about coding and then they get paid and so forth and they start making a pre fairly decent living and the market is so diverse that if they want to go and like work for some other company or do something else uh, they have those options because it's a very diverse ecosystem and their skills are highly sought after and they're usually fairly universal some of them go into management some of them just start studying other stuff and some don't even want to be programmers anymore because you know they make enough of it, they make a barely decent level so they can take on some risk these are the sorts of things that you usually do when you well at least what i see this is what people usually do when they lose their motivation and it all really comes down to as i said 
fully understanding that this is a job and even if it's your passion everything becomes sl slightly less fun over time and so if you can s foresee that that's going to happen it's good for you to make solid investments into your future today have a great day